the big arguments usually involve Liam uh, <laughs> and uh, me. Well, Liam's not here, you know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think it's okay. Uh, Graeme Sunes and I had a couple of goals as well. Um, Liam walked out one night uh, over a c remarks I made about Arsene Wenger looking like John Cleese in Faulty Towers on the touchline, and Liam took exception to that. And he walked out, but we got him back uh, before the outbreak was over. The atmosphere is fine, actually. We all enjoy each other's company. We like uh, doing the job we do. Uh, it's quite robust, um, and particularly if the subject, say, Trapatoni came up and Liam's involvement in that regime, uh, then it could be, you know, spiky. Uh, and Liam's a spiky character. But we're all great friends. Uh, I've never known a time when it spilled out to a sulk after we left the studio that I can remember, except when John and I had a row uh, that was quite nasty about a bad review he gave me for one of my great books. But that's another story. <laughs> it goes back a long way. That was quite unpleasant. Well, over, it's not too bad. I mean, we've been together doing the programme for nearly 30 years now, so it's about now and again. Uh, it's not too bad. But uh, as Eamon said, it's mostly a disagreement between Eamon and Liam. But I've never seen them fall out over it. I mean, I come into it now and again. I get a blast from Liam now and again. But uh, it was never, I, we, I think we're given an honest opinion. We're going to be different at different times. That's what makes the programme as well. But uh, it, it's never personal. I mean, Liam, and I'm in particular, you, you go out regularly for a drink afterwards, yeah. don't you? Yeah, we go for a drink and a meal. Yeah, I don't um, be asked. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bore. <laughs> no, um, we, we're all good friends. I think, actually, uh, not so much good friends as have a professional respect for each other. Like Bill or Harley, we never socialised with Bill, but we had great respect for his professionalism and he, he came at it from a good journalistic perspective. Um, so you don't have to be, we've always been very close pals, you know, and Liam was, we're all very, very friendly. Um, you don't have to be close friends, but you have to respect each other. We had a panellist uh, not too long ago who didn't actually respect anyone he was working with and it was a pain in the ass. And uh, that wasn't nice, and that doesn't work, because y you have to start from the basis that you're, sh you're both seeing the same picture, but you're both making a different interpretation of what you're seeing. You've got to respect the other guy in order for that to work. If there's no respect, then it doesn't work as television, and there was one or two examples of it in the World Cup. I'm being as discreet as I possibly can.